Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Umbrella Corpse. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video for this game, uh, about a month now I believe. I had a couple of videos um, about a month ago now, just talking about the game in general and how it's not a bad game. Um, it's not a good Resident Evil game, that's for sure. But uh, it's a fun game and it still definitely still has players. Uh, this footage was taken literally yesterday, so you know I'm still getting matches almost full or sometimes fully full of people. Sometimes it's not full, but it's still enough to start. Um, a couple of high level people as well, so people still play the game quite a lot. People still <laughs> enjoy it. And you know what? It is fun. I got a couple of new maps that I've played before, which was nice. Uh, this is the Resident Evil 5 map. And then, later in the video, there's a Resident Evil 6 map. Um, I, believe, I believe most of the maps are based off of locations in certain games. Uh, there's a map from 4, there's a map from 5 and 6, there's a map from Code Veronica. Uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot of maps there. Kind of areas of the uh, mainstream games, and to be honest, this one is probably one of my favourites. I only played it a couple of times. Uh, I got it later on in the day. Uh, I was playing off of recording, and it, it's just good. Uh, I love how the zombies on the map also represent the ones from the game too. Like in this, you got the the things. <laughs> I forgot what they're called. Um, the the being with the G, I think, Ganados. Is that, is that right? Was it going on those? I think that's right. That might be four. I don't know. No, no, no. This is definitely... No, no, no. It's five. <laughs> anyway. Um, the game's a lot of fun. And as I've mentioned in the past, you know, I enjoy the game. I do want to play more. Um, it is difficult to get matches at some points uh, during the day. But kind of, for me, on my kind of like time zone and stuff like that, I get matches in the evening or early evening to like late evening and then that's kind of it, like that gap of like four to five hours is usually when I get matches. Sometimes late at night and it's very rarely in the morning, but I still I still get matches quite easily. So to ask well to answer anyone in the comments of the old videos that says, Oh, can you actually find matches on this because it's very difficult to find a match? Um I am on PS plus session. I'm playing on PS4, so it's plus session in general. Um, and the UK time, so I don't know if it's different on other consoles or the platforms like PC and Xbox, I don't know if it's the same. Um, personally, would imagine it's higher player based on PlayStation purely because it's like Japanese and stuff like that. Asian audience, I believe that's more, more of a popular platform in those type of areas, so it makes sense. But that could be entirely wrong. Um, but it takes me about... On, 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 the, on the times usually finds a match, it takes about 10-15 minutes to get one and which isn't really that long to be honest, you can kind of just sit around and mess around with classes and stuff like that while you wait, so it doesn't really take a long time to find a match in this game still, which is surprising considering how old it is, but um, yeah, it's definitely worth playing still, I would definitely, that's for sure, definitely say that. Uh, do you really want a brief rundown of what the game actually is? For those who didn't watch the other videos, I'll leave a link to those in the description. But if you do just want to watch this one, then uh, it's basically a 3v3 competitive shooter. Um, it's PvP. There is a single player mode, which is essentially like a... Like a Spec Ops, you know, like Call of Duty Spec Ops. It's essentially that, but obviously not as in-depth as, in as that. Um, there is a one life mode, which is obviously a 3v3. Once you're dead, you're dead. Over the course of like five rounds, four or five rounds, I believe. That isn't really that popular anymore. I always try and find the match in that first when I log into the game. But it doesn't usually happen. So usually what you want to be doing is going to the multi mission, which is uh, first to th three, I believe. So yeah, first to three. Random objectives per round. It can be you know, just, it can be team deathmatch, it can be holding on to a suitcase uh, along than the other team, it can be killing more zombies and collecting samples than the other team. Um, there's, there's a lot of variation to it, and it's very fun. <laughs> it is fun, and obviously the maps change the zombies, and it all just it all just looks and it all does look nice. And just the maps do play really well. Not not all of them, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that, but um, definitely most of the maps play very very well. Um, in terms of obviously the combat, third person shooter, I do believe, or well, it's my opinion anyway, that the the perspective's a bit weird. Like your character is basically off the screen. Um, I don't really mind it, it kind of, you can see more, which is definitely a good thing. Not just looking at the back of your character's head, but, um, I don't know, it feels like my character's off the screen. Um, 
it is kind of a tactical game. It is cover shooter as well. You can kind of take cover, but I don't really do that because the pacing of it is actually genuinely quite fast. I would say, as long as you've got like a three v three team going on. Like this is a two v two, I believe. And even that, even so, it was still kind of it didn't take a while to find the one because the maps are quite small in a sense. Um, the weapons feel really nice. There's a lot of variations of weapons and gear. There's definitely a lot of class options you can make, and the customization for the weapons is pretty good too. Obviously, you get sights and attachments and camos and stuff. It's all very cool. Um, and I'll be honest, the soundtrack on the pops <laughs> at certain points, the soundtrack is just amazing. Um, obviously I'll leave you with the gameplay soon so you can kind of get a feel for it yourself. But, uh, no, the game's super fun. And I do want to do a, like a stream with this soon. Um, I don't know when, it's probably going to be the weekend now, maybe. Um, I have another video that's going up tomorrow where I want to talk about more specifics and kind of like review the thing as a whole. Um, you know, not just, pick, not just picking out individual details, I kind of want to talk about everything in the game and do like a good review of the game in like this this year and you know stuff like in general but uh the weekend i do want to stream it so if anyone on playstation is uh, watching this and does want to play and sure to some matches on a saturday or probably a saturday uh i do want to stream so by all means you know i'm sure my psn has come up a couple of times in the video we all need to add that and let's just be saying oh, we, i watch the video and want to play umbrella corps and you know when it comes to the time to do that we can just jump into the lobby together and you know, start a match pretty easily, which would be cool. But, uh, yeah, not going to talk forever. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with it now, I think. Um, but the game is great. Like, the game is fun. And that's all that matters, really. Is it a Resident Evil game? Mm, no. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a third person game with a um, Resident Evil skin on it. But <laughs> it's still fun, though. It's definitely fun. So, if no one's played it, I would recommend playing it. It's super cheap nowadays. Um, and like I said, especially the PlayStation player base, it doesn't need to be entirely dead yet, so that's very cool. So uh, I'll leave you the rest of the gameplay. Uh, the second match is a lot of fun. As you pop off in the second match quite well. But um, yeah, I'll leave you with it now. And let me know what you think about the game in the comments, obviously. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Your orders are to retrieve samples from the infected. This is how a professional does things. There it is. Sample obtained.
Sample obtained. Sample obtained. Sample obtained. The target has been specified. Take him out. Let's cut off this snake's head. That'll make 